Hey everyone, how's your day? Alex here and uh, today we are taking a look at Kaspersky Internet Security 2017. I haven't tested Kaspersky for maybe 5 or 6 years, I don't know. And uh, as you can see, Internet Security product costs uh, uh, for, for one device, for one year uh, $60 and uh, if you want it for two years then it will be 83 bucks. You also have antivirus and total security solution if you want. Kaspersky also has um, some great tools and uh, some great other software. Those are paid as you can see, password manager, Kaspersky save kits, virus scanner pro, this is uh, also paid, I, I don't know, virus scanner. They also have some virus removal tools for um, specific malware samples. And also they have great uh, decryption tools for um, decrypting files uh, which were uh, encrypted by a ransomware. So uh, Kaspersky has always been one of the best um, on the market internet security solutions, antivirus solutions. And um, people are, are always telling me Kaspersky is the best, you know. And um, I agree, it's always uh, in the top 5. So uh, here is the actual interface, as you can see. It says protection may be at risk, because I haven't updated the virus database yet. yet. Um, let's take a look at some options that Kaspersky offer here. And you have full scan. Quick scan, uh, you can choose um, what do you want to scan, for example, folder or something. You have external device scan, for example, your uh, USB drive. Uh, then over here you have save money option. So how it works. Uh, when you pay online, we prompt you to open protected browser, which um, should protect you from um, stealing your password, passwords and uh, cre um, login credentials for PayPal or Skrill or something like that. Green is protected, so if you see a green border, um, you should be protected. So let's launch. Uh, this and see how it works. You have on-screen keyboard uh, to enable on-screen keyboard restart your computer. I don't have time to do that now but um, the screen the, the keyboard should appear right here and you can type by your uh, by using your mouse not on your keyboard because some viruses can steal your information by uh, if you if you're using your um, physical keyboard. So let's add PayPal. PayPal.com And let's run it inside this protected browser. See how it works. There it is, as you can see, here is a green border. It's running inside a protected browser. This is just an example. Uh, over here you can type your password by using a Kaspersky virtual keyboard if you want, of course. The Kaspersky Internet Security Protected Browser. So that's a nice feature Kaspersky has. Then uh, you have privacy protection. Webcam access, so uh, prevents spying on you by limiting application access to your webcam. So this is very nice. Private, private browsing uh, protects against collection of information about you, your activities on websites, attempts to collect your data 155 so far. As you can see you have some um, statistic here and uh, what next parental control 
before we get started we advise you to create a password let's see how it works so if you enable this one you, you can uh, configure some restrictions here computer access restriction from Monday to Friday as you can see block games by content you can block specific applications such as Google Chrome games or uh, access to the internet communication social network kids are crazy for Facebook and Instagram these days so this can come handy so that's also a nice feature protection for all devices uh, you can connect your Kaspersky account to your mobile phone as well to your smartphone application if you want so let's go and see what's under settings under general interactive protection auto run of course uh, run at computer startup so under protection you can see uh, many shields over here file antivirus web application control uh, firewall private browsing webcam software updater helps update applications on your computer to avoid infection anti-banner blocks banners in your browser this can be very useful it's a uh, turn off by default network attack blocker system watcher so it monitors um, for malware actions on your system I am so scan incoming messages for phishing uh, and uh, malicious links mail antivirus anti-spam application manager save money so what else do you want performance you can increase increase or decrease performance by uh, enabling or disabling some of these features I suggest you to leave all on default you can um, you can choose a scan level high maximum protection but it can use more resources recommended on, on um, default uh, action on, on threat detected automatically some additional features here uh, I know that uh, Kaspersky has some let me see quarantine cloud protection it has uh, some uh, oh, there, there it is secure connection so if you want to to browse the internet uh, by changing your IP address it can also be done uh, with Kaspersky secure connection so if you turn it on you can connect to uh, some of this VPN I, I believe it, it's a VPN servers from these countries so if you choose German and then um, turn it on your IP address will be from Germany so that's nice cloud protection vulnerability scan you can scan your operating system for applications that uh, should be updated rescue disk you can create a rescue CD from here or a rescue USB stick I, I uh, created one video, video on this one so trusted application mode uh, so you can see uh, there are a lot of options because Persky one thing I don't I don't like I, I never liked about Kaspersky is uh, update process it used to take a lot and uh, 
it's it's uh, taking too much resources and uh, it's been updated as you can see let's run another one to see looks like uh, it's doing faster than uh, five or six years ago let's see how much resources Kaspersky is using now well not too much 90 megs this is probably for update process this one is Kaspersky and this one so all in all about 160 megs of RAM memory which is not that not that much but I've seen uh, lighter security products okay so that's pretty much it for Kaspersky uh, review uh, in some of the next videos I will test it against some uh, real life threats like probably some ransomware threats and we will see how it performs so thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe click over here on my picture to subscribe support my videos and um, see you soon have a nice day and bye bye for now